The title of the film is called A Genius Leaves the Hood, The Unauthorized Story of Jay-Z. It's out now on iTunes. Uh, under the documentary, it'll be the easiest way to find it. It went up to number three on iTunes, you know, the first week it came out. So it's doing rather well, and it is be, it'll be released on DVD through Amazon starting next week. What story are you trying to tell in this movie? Well, the, the documentary is about Jay-Z life from, you know, from beginning to present. Um, it starts off with Jazzo, uh, who I got on the project. Um, Jazzo, you know, gives the birth story of Jay-Z, how Jay-Z came about, how he got his name, what his original name was. So it starts with him, and then it goes all the way up, you know, from through stages. You know, the birth of Jay-Z, you know, Jay-Z, the independent artist, Jay-Z that gets a deal, Jay-Z that, you know, formed the Misa with J uh, Damon Dash, forms Rockefeller and with Biggs as well, Jay-Z that, you know, gets with Beyonce, the demise of Rockefeller, Jay-Z success as, you know, away from Rockefeller, and then the political side of Jay-Z, at the businessman, um, and you know, up until you know his current situation. So it's, it was originally titled "From Marcy to Madison Ave." So that's what the story is: from Marcy to Madison Ave. It's just called "The Genius Leaves the Hood," the unauthorized story of Jay Z. Why Jay Z? You know, what made you want to do a film on Jay Z? Well, um, I was approached by Moguldom. Um, that's the company that put it out, and they was doing the film, and you know. As everybody else know, I was doing my last days of the rock series, so that's how they approached me on it. And but this story wasn't about just the breakup; it was Jay Z as a whole. And I got in because I had a lot of knowledge of what was going on. In the film, you'll see me in the film as well, and I kind of talk more about, you know, the demise of Rockefeller, you know, what I saw, and then you have other people, you know, before and after that come in and talk about different things, you know, that in regards to Jay-Z. What is something that you could share with us that a lot of fans will be shocked to hear about? Um, his first rap name, which a lot of people probably don't know, you know, Jazz OG, he talks about that. And, you know, there's a new generation out now. So they know Jay-Z from Jay-Z being with Beyonce. And, you know, Jay got a whole nother level of success once he joined with Beyonce. But it gives the origin to his start and where, how he got up to this point. And from a business aspect, you know, if you come from the hood and you don't have no aspirations of doing anything or if you listen to people that tell you, you can't do this because you from that and you can't go nowhere. This is a, perf uh, uh, a perfect uh, example of a rags to riches story, you know, but through hip hop. If you can name one thing that you would say helped Lee J to the level he is now, what would it be? Surrounding himself with better business people on not just, you know, keeping the hood, keeping the street, you know, he embraced corporate America and, you know, whether they were using him at points to sell their brands, you know, he was open to have these conversations with these people where, you know, other people in the business, you know, may not have went that route, you know, or you know, wanted to keep it real. As you mentioned, you were really there for the downfall. You saw a lot of that stuff. How much of it would you say is a lot of other people, like a Dame, Dame Dash, uh, failure to adapt. Well, back in the day, you know, I say like 10 years ago, when this was all going on and I was working closer to Dane, I felt like what Jay did was wrong, you know. Um, but as years went on and more information developed and I matured and wasn't just siding with the people I was working with, I saw that Jay made a smart move. It was very intelligent of him to make the, the moves that he made. Um, 
Dame was you know, more pigeonholed in his ways and had, you know, he, you know, had growth back then as Jay did, then he would be side by side with him, you know. But now, knowing what I know now, it was better for Jay to break away from Dame, you know. Like, you know, when Jay went and started dressing up in suits, you know. If you look at Dame now, he's still dressing urban. Even I am in a suit. This is how I dress now, you know what I'm saying? Because I learned that, you know, that is just going to keep you in a certain lane. All that keep it real, street attitude ain't the way. You know, you got to man up, business up, and handle your business on, a, on another level, or you'll just continue to deal with those type, type of people. When I look at it now, and I look at the money that was being spent, you know, uh, how Jay had to divide his money by having partners, you know, and, you know, profits that was made that probably was split three ways, you know, that now he don't have to split, you know, and people that didn't want to deal with him because of how other people were dealing with his partners or how his partners were dealing with other people, it stunned his growth. So once he broke away and, you know, now people feel comfortable dealing with him because they don't have to, you know, fight to get to him or deal with people that they don't want to deal with to get to him. It just opened that much many doors and that's why he's where he's at today.